our shapes and styles, sharing our adventures and happy smiles. Climb aboard and let's get started. Hi everybody, welcome to part 3 of how to paint a T-Rex. I hope you've enjoyed your painting so far. I'm really enjoying mine and seeing T-Rex come to life. In this video, I will show you how to add the final details and also more lights and darks. So, let's get started. So, now, uh, now that we're at stage 3, our aim is to add in some final details to give a little bit more finish to the uh, T-Rex himself, so for example, the details around the eyes and the teeth, and then on the background some more texture and certainly a little bit more light to give a little bit more depth and liveliness to that space. So I'm going to start with the details of the eye and the teeth. And when I look at the eye, I can see that it's a dot of white with a dot of black in the middle. So I'm going to put in just a small bit of white. It has a, a very staring feeling to it. So I'm going to just put in a small circle of white and leave that there for the moment to dry. And when that's dry, I'm going to put a little dot of black into that to give that sense of stariness in that he has, that scary sense. Now, with the teeth, they're not a pure white color, they're an off-white color. So I'm going to use some white with a little bit of yellow and red, not unlike a slightly peachy color. Now, once again, I'm not using any water because I need the color to be quite pure and quite lively. So I'm going to set that up with just... It'll be quite a bright colour, but it'll dull down a little. So, using the tip of the detailing brush, we don't have to get exactly the teeth as we see them as close as we can. So, you see one just sitting here underneath, just to the right of the eye. Then there's a very long one there, from there, then another one here. And they seem similar in length, but getting smaller as they move towards the front of the mouth. And then we have a couple of smaller ones there. Now that colour seems very bright at the moment, but that will dull down a little, and that's fine. I'm happy for that to do it, because I still want them to be visible. You can already see them starting to dull down a little bit. Now those that I see against the sky, as you can see, they're darker. As I said before, the light's coming from the left-hand side, so we see the teeth on the left because of the light. But those that are on the right-hand side, as we look at it, appear to be darker because they're silhouetted against the light of the sky. So I'll leave those for a moment, and I'll put in the smaller ones here, just on the lower jaw. Now, I'm not counting the amount I have. I think we'll be fine just to pretty much put them in as we see them and just leave a little bit of space in between each one. And we'll be putting in little bits of darks under these ones as well just to make those stand out a little. Into that space there. Now, while I have that colour, I'm just going to go back and touch up on these that I put already, the longer ones up here in the front. Just to give them a little bit more strength because while I want them to dull down, I don't want them to dull so much that we cannot see them. It's important that we're able to see them. And they're important details and they give so much more drama and character to T-Rex there. Now, with that same colour, I go back to my little bit of brown and black and going with a slightly darker greyish tone. Grey brown. I'm going to put in those that we see. And again, you can see there's a semicircle in the shape of the teeth there. So those at the back are smaller, then the longer in the middle and then shorter again. So once more, we start with shorter ones here. Leaving a gap between each, they're not all together and then getting longer and then starting to get shorter again coming back into the front perfect really good i like that and then there's one or two little highlights in those on the front here and at the same time there's a couple of darker shadows on those that we've already put in so i'm going to just put in a little bit of darkness to the side of those to give them a slightly fuller look make them look as though they're slightly stronger that's it now there are some soft grays above that you can see just here you can see almost the roots of the teeth into the jaw, so you can see just the lights and the dark furrows there. So I'm going to just put in one or two little furrows in between these darks that we've already established just to help convey that feeling into that space. Now, over here, you see the nostril, and I can see just a tiny little bit of light on the right-hand side of the nostril there, but I don't think I've made the nostril strong enough, so I'm going to go back in with some of my dark, and I'm going to just strengthen up that nostril and it seems to me to go slightly higher than I will always go so I'm going to go up a little bit higher then give that a little bit more strength to stand out. Now from there there's one or two shadows just behind the teeth down here that makes them look a little bit murky so I'm going to just put in some of those little touches there just to give them a little bit more variation so they don't look too neat and tidy because I can't imagine T-Rex went to the dentist on a regular basis. 
Now the Merchant T-Rex weren't the dentist at all. I just wanted two little touches around there just to give that little bit of unevenness. Now, I'll come back to those and have a look in a little while and see if there's any other bits and pieces I need to do. At this stage, I think the eye might be, the white of the eye might be dry enough. I'm going to just take a tiny dot of black on the tip of my brush and put that into the center of the black there. I like that very good. It has that sort of angry look. And you can see there's a sense, there's a little bit of reflection on the eye here in this space. So I'm going to just come in with a slightly lighter brown so that the black doesn't look too flat. And just here, it's not light enough. I'm going to put just a little bit of softness into that space so it gives a little bit more liveliness and light to the eye, which is much better. I think I prefer that. When I look here, I can see there's a little bit of light pink just on that stretchy skin area there inside the mouth. And what I have is not bright enough, so I'm just going to touch up on that and make that a little bit brighter. So having washed my brush, come back into my pinky colour. So the red, it's not a pure pink, has a little bit of um, peachiness about it. So I'm using a little bit of yellow with the red and white to give me that. And I'm going to put in a little bit of light there. And as before, again, this may seem quite bright. That's okay. We can, it'll soften down. The acrylics go down very bright and it appears to be very bright but they always dull down a little as they dry and that's fine just a little bit in these spaces now there's a shadow just here which is a little bit more pinky peachy that or sorry browny i should say than i've allowed it to be so i'm just going to come in and just just giving a feeling of the stretchiness of the jaw as he's opening and screaming out from there they make quite a, a horrific sound screechy sound some shadow at the front now i have a sort of outline here which i don't like so i'm going to soften that down break that line so it's not quite so patty but just put some light in it so that it's not just an outline that I'm looking at it has a little bit more depth and a little bit more range with that same brighter colour I'm going to put in a few brighter highlights here just touching up on the textures that I added in step 2 just daubing in little bits to give a little bit more vibrancy I was going to say a little bit more bite to the colour kind of be a play on words under these circumstances again you can see a few highlights here so we just come in and put a few soft lines in as before I'm not painting a photograph, I'm making a painting. So it doesn't have to be exactly the same as the photograph. And it's always important to keep mentioning that. Otherwise we can get bogged down sometimes trying to be too perfect in what we're doing. And just a few strokes here just to give impression of the textures on the skin as they come around there. And then a few lights on the underside because remember I said the light hits the ground and it reflects back up to the underside of T-Rex. So it's just a few little soft lights coming through here and there into those spaces that we pick up on. There and there. And then there's some lovely light coming around the other side here. So I'm just going to tap into that again. There's my word tap. Just break that in. Bring it around. Like so. And it helps just to give a little bit more shaping to the underside of the body, which is very important. But as you can see, I'm just putting in dots of colour. I'm not trying to be too heavy handed. That white might be too bright there, and I might tone that down in a few moments. So continuing to look on the underside of the belly to make sure I've got enough drama in what I have and I'm going to just add a little bit of extra textures here and there just to add in that little bit of extra vibrancy and liveliness here and there. When I have that I'm going to just put, you can see the highlights on the claws, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to just put a little bit of light onto the claws and it goes slightly brighter than that. So I want the feeling of the claws to really stand out. So we're using almost a pure white for that and it really makes those jump out which is very important because they're very much part of the drama of uh, T-Rex was that liveliness and the claws and the, the sharpness of them. Highlights along the end of the legs there, just into those bases again, some small sharp broken lines and across the top here. The same on this left leg as we look at it, just into those spaces, little lights coming in just hitting, not too much, we don't overdo it. Just gets a slightly more gnarled quality in on that, more rippled. There, just little semicircles into those spaces. I think I will actually looking at it now. I think I'll just give that a slightly more linear shaping just along here, just to make that stance stand out a little bit more, like so. Into that. I'm going back into my lighter greys. You can see some highlights here, the creases in the body, and I'm going to put in a few lines just to accentuate that feeling of the creases there, and also here. And across the top of the bony spine, you can see some little lights. So once again, just tiny little details. But details that all the same are important to get that drama and get that feeling of ruggedness and texture on T-Rex. Tone that one down a little there. And then there's a few little touches here, there. A few marks along those ways. Now, um, I'll rinse my brush quickly because I feel, as I said, that on the tail I haven't given enough shadow in the middle section just along here so I'm just going to go back in with my bluey grey 
and we'll add in a little bit of texture sorry a little bit of darkness there so we put a line in and then break it down oops water too much water on my brush I rinsed it but I didn't dry it out properly and that's what happens so we'll go back in put in that little bit of shadow that runs down along there and just working it top to bottom you can see it gives the, because the tail is moving left and right all the time there's a lot of creases on it and that's what we're trying to show is the feeling of those creases coming through just touching in there getting that shadowiness and I think also I'll add a little bit more light just here and here and if you highlight you can see the spotted highlights along the back there as well so this time go back and we make sure to dry the brush so I'm going to start with little touches of the brightness again and just along the top here little dots just gives that ruggedness to it just where the light picks up on those shapes in here I'll put in a few bits like so and throughout this I'm going to put in a few and a little bit more light I was saying just along here and touching uh, maybe that's too bright so I'll just bring it down a little bit soft touch the blue into that space now our T-Rex is really starting to look very rugged isn't he and I think we'll have one or two little lights along here as well just to accentuate that feeling a little bit more than I have already touches along here once more and also yet again on the underside of the neck I feel I could do a little bit more just into these spaces so just pick up along there now we don't want to be too dark in our darks so you can see that even though it's shadowiness there's a little bit of light coming through so i'm going to just make that a little bit brighter so that it doesn't look too contrasting because oftentimes the feeling of light is best described through softness rather than through harsh contrast of lights and darks just bringing in soft contrast between the lights and darks to give a little bit more drama and liveness to it what do you think i'm very pleased with t-rex now uh, oh yes, I was going to say I'll leave him, but just before I do, I notice there's a little bit of highlight on the tongue. So before I go back to the background, I'm just going to take once again that bright pinky colour, which is not just red and white on its own, it's slight, it has a slightly peachy tone. So the red, the white, and the touch of yellow, the medium yellow that I've been using, just to get that feeling of um, soft light into that space there. And just along the top of the tongue, there's a little bit of... I didn't dry my brush again properly. Just that little bit of brightness onto the toe just there so it doesn't need to be too harsh now from there i want to go back and add a little bit more playfulness and texture i like my sky but i think i could do it having a wee bit more light in it so what i'm going to do is take my bigger brush and once again using a slightly dry brushing effect so i'm going to back into my medium sized large brush and again make sure it's dry take some white with a little bit of this pinky color i'm just going to scratch in using the side with little bits of soft shadowy light onto the clouds here and there Carefully, not at this point now, not to go in on the shapes that I've already created on T-Rex. Dry off the brush again and just scratch that in so this just gets a little bit more blended into that space. So, so. From there, before I go back into the greenery, I'm going to look at the, the mountains. So once more, the blue, the cerulean blue. And mixing it into the greys I have here and just putting in little touches here and there just to give a sense of brightness and distance into those spaces then there's a few highlights so using my yellow and my blue and my white getting quite a bright color come back into what we hit already before and just occasionally touching in little bits of light into those you can see that the landscape across here again has a few little uh, details on it so we just come in with once more the white the yellow and the red for a very bright pinky tone colour and we just tap in this into these spaces to give that little bit of unevenness to them. I'm using that feeling of positive and negative space where I'm coming in from the outside to make sure that we get a little bit more drama onto the shapes, be it the plants or T-Rex. Now with my smaller brush, once again back into those touches of brown, a little bit of water, I'm going to draw in a few details just to give a little bit more liveness here and there to this space, so just to create the feeling of ruggedness on the landscape. Using the brownish colouring is better because it's not too strong, it helps create a bit of distance into there. Just short, sharp strokes, nothing too neat and tidy. 
But I've added in, as you can see, quite a deal of texture into that space. And I also went back and did a few bits and pieces on my mountain. And so really all I've left to do now will be some highlights onto the plants. And I just noticed as well that I've made this part of the jaw just a little too narrow. So I think I'll come in and make that a little bit bigger as well. So I'm going to come in with my white and let part of that merge with the teeth in that. And there's some darks there with the teeth I need to have. We'll just, we'll just give this a little bit more depth into that space. I need a little bit more white and a little bit more yellow. A little bit more white and a little bit more yellow. Now, bring that down actually. Bring it down a little bit more get that sense of drama about it and help just to see that by bringing in some of our darts just very slightly underneath into that space and I think down again yeah that looks a little bit better doesn't it and then we we'll touch a few highlights into these spaces just to make it look deeper on the top as well there and we we'll put in a few little soft highlights onto the top of the teeth there I see a, a touch of shadowiness actually that I missed down here so just across here and then I put a little bit of a not, not dark enough, a little bit of a shadowy influence just coming through that space there and a little bit down, down here and again that helps us just to see the musculature when the leg is flexed, these legs as you're moving like that is taking all the weight and balance and so the muscles and the legs are flexed in that situation and that's what helps us understand the feeling of movement in a more dramatic fashion. I don't want them too heavy so I'm just going to thin them out a little and then to compensate I'm going to put one or two little bits of light as well in between just to give a feeling of that that line is too strong so we just blend that down a little and blend down a little there so that light comes into that space so it's not too rigid it's not too perfect now on to the idea of the plants i don't want to go to an enormous amount of trouble and i don't think i need to i'm going to take a little bit of white and just into this and i'm going to just scratch a few feelings of the veins that you might see in them and again i don't quite know exactly what the plants would have been like all those millions of years ago so it's going to be a little bit playful and I'm going to do something a bit dramatic and take a little red and put it into this one here and there just give a bit of colour and vibrancy to what I have I'm going to do the same with some yellow here the yellow doesn't sound like quite so much without the white so I'm going to put in a little bit of white into that space just to give a little bit of playfulness into these areas so they don't look too neat and tidy I do want to put a little bit more brightness into that so once more my yellow and my white mix those together I'm going to take a little bit of the thalo green which is as I said before quite a zingy fresh green and we'll come in and we'll use that just to get a little bit more playfulness, a little bit more strength lovely into those and we're not trying to fill every space light is it hits and misses it's not always perfectly even over the surface or something on even like a, a leaf or a flower so you can allow just a little bit of freedom for the feeling of movement or motion or unevenness on the surface so just little bits here and there and that gives just a nice vibrant quality to it and we, what we do is we'll hit the tips we touch the white because if they're smooth plants they can reflect light and so you get these wonderful little lights hitting off them just again it's for no other reason other than just adding a little bit of interest and playfulness into what we have a little bit of sharpness here and there and the same into these so we're just using playful shapes just to get a little bit more drama into what we have and you can see just down here behind my palette and then finally up towards the top i'm going to bring in slightly brighter greens yes i like that into those spaces and then here and there just little lights and some of those yes lovely just tips and i think we'll add a little bit of red as we did here and there just to sometimes adding little bits of color even when it doesn't exist just adds a bit of playfulness and liveliness to what you're doing and i think that's very important not to be afraid to add these little bits as we go along i'm going to take some of my thalo green then a little bit of water Again, just add little strokes here and there so it's just playful and it suggests little bits of color without being too neat and tidy sharpness coming off them what do you think i like that i like that a lot very good i'm very pleased with that now just i also meant to say i did when i was doing the other textures i also added in as you can see some extra darks into my mountains i'm just going to cam one or two of those down just i felt they're a bit too soft so i come back in and i put in a few extra darks just to get that little bit of um depth a little bit more weight to them just in the background so they have a little bit more strength along with t-rex now okay i think i'll just finish off now with one or two little highlights and i think once we have that i'll be ready to sign t-rex and say we're finished and then after that all that remains for me to do is as usual to put a mount 
and show you what it looks like when it's finished and presented. Let me see, is anything else? I think a little bit of soft light just in there. And we have that one, and we just have one or two little creases there. And again, we just pick up on that crease there. They've softened down a wee bit too much. And just along here and here. Just a little bit more, and along there. And I think just we let some of those lights drift up into that space. We have a little bit of light just broken up along the top here. A little, oh, I see a few more sort of narrow lines just come up around. All of that colour has just come up quite by accident, but I'm going to leave it because I like it. It's a little bit more greeny than I expected. That's okay. Sometimes the best of what we do happens by accident. The technique is recognising when the accidents are working and keep them. So not everything we do is purpose, huh? and that's great. So we learn so much of what we do by accident and just letting it just sit there is great. It has a nice feeling to it. Now, I think um, one or two little final highlights onto the surface of here. And again, I have too much water, so I'm just going to take my tissue and dab that one out. There. And just one or two finishing highlights. And then I think I'm going to call our T-Rex finished. What do you think? I'm really, really pleased with my T-Rex now, I must say. I have to, I really enjoy painting him. Of course, I now need to sign him, so rinse off my brush. And this time I will certainly dry it properly. That's it. And I'm going to go back and I... I like red, so I'm going to just come in and I'm going to just sign it. Now, I'm going to just sign it here actually because it's a bit complicated over there, so I'm just going to come in and put C, P, F. Captain Puppy Fluff. And as usual, the little heart. Brilliant. Now, I hope you enjoyed doing. T-Rex and I hope you've learned from it and that finishes our painting of T-Rex. As usual I will now add a border for presentation. Having cleared the space we have the presentation of T-Rex. Put a little mount on the surface and said it's a great way of just finishing off your drawings and paintings and just getting ready to present. If you don't want to put them on a frame you can just stick them up in the wall with a simple mount and these mounts are easy enough you could even make them yourself. And there we have T-Rex. I am really pleased with my painting of T-Rex and I had such fun painting him. I hope you have too. Don't forget to use your imagination to play with the colours and also to add your own touches if you feel like it. After all, it is your painting. Myself and Princess Kitten were talking about what we might do next and she was suggesting we might do a unicorn which I think is a great idea. And I was saying that we might also show you how to do some cartoons. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with our art adventures. We look forward to seeing you all soon. Enjoy your art adventures. Bye!